All right, everyone, Wonderbots here, and welcome to Dreamscaper? Yeah, Dreamscaper. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, it's on the other screen, and that's very far away. So it's a roguelike, kind of Binding of Isaac style, and a couple other things. <gasps> this this kid's a Lord of the Rings fan. Is he? Look over by the lamp on the left. J.R.R. Tolkien? Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's cool. Anyway, so it's a roguelike that you're like, kind of falling asleep, Dungeons fighting things in your immortal. dreams. But this looks like it's a video game that well, he's playing. Yeah, ooh, this is a lot smoother than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, oh. so this is the tutorial. But they've they've set it up as a, whoa, that is really loud. Let's not do that, volume. <laughs> Rank that biscuits low. Oh, not that low. Then you won't be able to hear it. That's fair. That's pretty loud. It's just the dumb between things, but yes. Okay. So that's interesting. It looks like they put on a low, you know, low fidelity filter. Yeah. For pixel over the actual game, and then added a like a dungeon tile. So set. this is. So the kid is playing this video game, and then I can only assume from the trailers it's showing him going to sleep and actually experiencing this for himself, but in a dream realm. You can hold both... Hold both a ranged and a melee weapon. Oh, I see. Okay, ranged weapons require ammo. Oh, so you picked Aim, up a bow? draw, release. This might be the kind of thing I play on keyboard and mouse. Eh, maybe not. We'll see. So this is defeat all the enemies, and then you can progress through the next door zone. Yep. Okay, this feels a lot smoother than the trailer made it look, which is good. What oh, is this? Oh. Something's ranged. A turret? Ah, yeah, like a magic turret. Bonk. Blank. Blank. It doesn't Blank. look like your stamina is going down. Blank. Blank. Okay. You can hold two lucid attacks. Cold snap will shatter fro frozen enemies. Left bumper, right bumper. Ooh. Okay. So you just snapped this your fingers neat. there. This is a neat idea for a tutorial. I like it. Let's uh, see. So fountain will fill your lucid meter. Okay. Oh, lucid. So lucidity. That allows you to control your environment. So in this case, you're slowing down time. Yep. So it also fills as you defeat enemies. Some rooms will be locked. Keys can be found by smashing destructibles or defeating enemies. Bunch of basalt rocks. Some require bombs to destroy. Looks like the giant's causeway. So, so yeah, oh. currently I'm getting Binding of Isaac crossed with uh, Binding of Isaac crossed with Hand of Fate, which for me that's actually really good. I liked the idea of Hand of Fate, but the missions kind of sucked because you. You'd, like, get all the way to the end and then RNG nonsense would screw you over. Oh, is this the map? Or do you just acquire it? Yeah. Whoa, something's wrong with your game. Aw. Uh, another crash. She's wearing a ponytail and stuff, right? Yeah, it's a lady. Okay. Oh, there she goes. Oh, look at that. That so, looks really pretty. This is probably the outside of her house, and but these are portals to other... Yeah, you can see people, but they disappeared. Wait, where are the people? There, there was a person sitting there and somebody at the car. I'm mm -hmm. wondering if somebody's moving out. Someone's moving because you see all that luggage yeah. and some boxes Yeah, so it could there. be going to college, or it could be something grimmer. Mm-hmm. Like a parent separating or... Yeah. Who knows? Anyway, let's start exploring. Ah! Gotta remember to actually time my hits. I do bonus damage. If I, uh... So she's starting off as a kind of rogue. Now, if you notice, these are hay bales and such. Is she from a farming community? Possibly. 
Yeah, a little bit more on the country side of things. Oh. That, it looks like it's exposed from the rear, but... Oh, I see. It's got limited ammo. It's got a reload time. Yeah. That's nice. So I don't just have to tank hits to kill that thing. Well, no, we do have a bomb. I can get past that. Right, a bomb and a key. Yeesh. Ooh. I don't know what that does. I'm assuming that gets us out of here. I'm going to keep looking around for a little bit longer. Well, that improves longer. your lucidity. Yep. So I should probably talk about this game a little bit. Uh, uh, so this game is not available yet, sort of. But there's it, a Kickstarter for Yeah. It? So uh, this one's going to be going through Kickstarter. I almost never touch Kickstarters. Uh, health potion small. Yeah. Perfect. It looks like there's some breakables over here. Um, and I almost never touch Kickstarters unless I think it's something amazing, like RE Legend, Temtem, uh, let's see, what other ones have I done recently? A Monster Sanctuary, and like, one or two others. It seems as though you've chosen to kickstart oh, was... a number of monster collection games. Well, that's because there are very few of them, and they were... Oh, I can hold a recycle for two. Or for, uh, whatever, 20 of that resource. Well, I'm not taking a whole lot of damage yet, which is good. Oh, a bow, I believe? An arrow? Uh, it's some arrows, yeah. I see. Yeah, so I have 14 arrows. You can see at the bottom. I'm gonna remember to break these. This resembles a park. It is true that... Dreams are peculiar in that sometimes you do have a mixture of real-life locations and people and places with something fantastical. That's how many of mine occur. But, so... This will be on Kickstarter on August 6th, in a couple of days. Uh, I'll probably revisit it around then, but... Uh, Shell and I are sitting down to try out a bunch of new, different games. Ooh. We figured this one... A different creature type. We figured this one was worth a, a look-see. And so far I'm impressed. It's a little basic. You'll probably acquire more weapons soon. Yeah. Because there definitely are other weapons than this. And I do hope that you do learn more about the girl in this moving situation as you progress through the game. Oh, those ones are immovable. Uh, alternatively, we might just need a bomb. Uh, possibly. Oh, yep, there you go. Now, yeah, so what does this grant you? More time? Yeah, it's some kind of, like, time-looking thing. It's probably key, whatever the cash resource is. Now, these portals look different than the ones that we had prior. Wow. Enemies might be... Oh, no. I see. The extra rock grows up around it. Yep. I don't know if enemies are too stunlockable. It mildly feels like it, but I think a lot of that just has to do with the fact that if, you, if you're timing your hits right, you do bonus damage, which does worse things to them. Oh, another Oops. turret. Two turrets. Let's see. But yeah, so far, the enemies don't feel like particularly punishing or hard. Which is both good and bad. I like it when it's balanced. Hard but fair oh. is always something that appeals to me. It's a large health potion. Another key. Uh, so this is what we're spending the time on. Time stuff on. Uh, oh, it's sand. So Terracade 3, 24 damage, 3 seconds, 5% attack speed. Uh, knife 2, also poisons, hmm. or a tri-point shield. The shield would be useful if you want to use it against Blocking the... things, yeah. Well, yeah, blocking, but then also the projectiles. Now the key, have we uncovered anything that requires a key? Oh. So I do have a longbow, and I, I do have a shield. Oh, okay. So my knife currently does 27. Lucid Awakening is currently time slow. I don't have any loose, lucid attacks. And it looks like you can collect keepsakes. Ah, here's how we pull up the map. Yeah. So we do need a key to get in that room. You know what? We can just leave the shop for later. Since this is organized like Binding of Isaac, we can just come back whenever. At least until your run ends. Yeah. Then it, at which point it, it will probably rearrange itself. Or create even new... Oh. Prototype puzzle. Oh, they're puzzle prototypes. Oh, it's um pipe dream. 
Mm -hmm. So where's the start of the pipe? Well, this is probably the end. Maybe? Or maybe my goal is to actually connect all of uh, these. Uh, yeah. There you go. This is looking a lot better. Hmm. Well, actually, look at that green pipe. Maybe you need to make sure that it connects to the next pipe. Ne you see how they turn green? That's what you need to do. So what you probably need to do is ensure that all of those red orbs are turned yellow. Yeah. Um, Except yeah. for all of the reds are a dead end? Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's that. I don't think that's going to work, though. But, I think I... Yeah, you need to go all the way around. Yeah. Okay, let's... Flip that switch? Fi flip uh... this. Okay, so it's a little bit more interesting than Pipe Dream, which is good, because Pipe Dream is kind of boring. That looks good. Ah, but how are you going to get that one lit? This one? E uh, give me a second. Easy. Ah, oh, mm, yeah, there you go. And what's that obel? Okay, let's see. Is it a special chest? I do appreciate the fact that they're trying to put puzzles in here. Finger gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's like a little magic missile. You just... Oh, shoo. I recycled it. Wait, you recycled it? I recycled it like a moron. What, what's the recycle button versus the... It, I held down B. For whatever reason, I thought it said hold B to swap, and it's... No, it's hold B to recycle. No! Chalk that up to... Me being a dumb bunny. It's okay. But then you could have... Could have had I've, magic! Uh, well, no, it just would have been a ranged attack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good puzzle, not too difficult. It was... No, we need a bomb for this one. Do I have any bombs? I got three yeah. bombs. Whatever. I'm assuming I can hurt myself with bombs. Ooh. So this is uh another one of the lucid meteor things, give or take. Where does it take. take you? Does it take you out of the dream, or does no, it... No, I think it recharges my lucid meter, the, the time slowdown. Mm -hmm. But I haven't really felt the need to use that yet. Yeah, I gotta remember, there's also alternate attacks. So... Huh. Uh, X and Y. So I'm not just mm -hmm. limited to... The basic slash. Yeah, I think the Y move just does more damage. I'm a little dismayed moves. that the enemies haven't even been able to make uh, to a hit me yet. Attack yeah, though. I stun lock them maybe a little bit too easily. My my thing is like I kind of I like the idea of being able to stun lock a lot of the basic mobs, and I wonder if some of that is just because I am. Um, I'm timing my hits really well. Oh, people again. Yeah, but they're gone. Okay, hey, knife, knife two. two. So B to swap. Better than what I got. Oh, interesting. So there's uh burns. so there's the base stats. Knife twos always do 36 DPS, but the burns, four DPS for five seconds and the ten percent max health. That's mm -hmm. different from the other knife two that we saw. Mm-hmm. That's a that's a nice system. I like that. Okay, so that, that red circle is health. Yeah, that makes sense. And he said already. I would have thought that with most roguelikes, enemies are supposed to be impossibly difficult at first, but as you acquire more... Run away. Stand your ground. Wait, a choice? These are choices? Oh, I see. Uh, Yeah, so I got a buckler two instead of buckler one. So, yeah, the choice is, do we want, like, a, a dodging-related ability or a, a different shield? Uh, 
not a bad system. Ah. I should probably plunk the bomb as close to it as possible. Mm-hmm. Now, Let's what's see. the lens? You have 21 of them, but I don't see what you use it for. Yeah, not sure. So it's marking on the map that I haven't destroyed some crystals here, so we should probably go back and destroy all of them. I got, gotta give it credit, the gameplay is still kind of basic. I think a larger enemy variety will probably help a lot. It's really pretty. Yeah, but the thing that's really mm -hmm. driving this game forward for me, the gameplay itself is smooth. Like, I think the enemies need to be fine-tuned, so I'm not sure if they're more of a threat necessarily. They haven't presented a challenge yet. Yeah. I eh, think... It's not worth bombing for. Because I think turrets have presented more of an issue for you than the armed creatures yeah. and enemies. It's left to be broken. Supposedly there's a breakable crystal here. Hmm. It could be a small one that's just hidden in the brush or something. Well, not important then. Oh, a key. That's convenient. I did need one of those. Okay, let's go back. Do you want to back. see where the key chamber right. is? You can also warp between these. Oh, you can warp? Yeah! Nice. I forgot about that. Uh, let's just pick that up. Oh, there's another. Yep. But so, you don't unlock. Unlock that one. Let's go bomb this out. Hopefully they make it so the bombs will always destroy the entirety of one of these crystal things. Mm -hmm. Like as long as There have you... been times where you have a one singular Yeah, just like a smidge left and it's just like, man. Burger, Burger house. Burger house. Oh. Okay, hot, hot earth, earth, or cold. cold. Oh, these are abilities. Well, my dagger does fire, so let's go hot. Detonate. Detonate. But does it hurt you? Burns, poisons, I don't know. Oh, oh maybe this is just a, a pulse that you send out. Yeah, maybe. Want to try it? I fart. <laughs> Flames. Fear my flatulence? <laughs> the flaming flatulence, though. I serve the flaming fart. I mean, fast. Uh, let's see. So that's probably another ability. Well, we don't need knife two, and we don't need a shield. So I guess I'm going to grab Terracade three, and we'll just go fight the boss. Oh, you already know where the boss location is? Oh, man. Speaking of spicy farts, that Thai food. <laughs> I love Thai food, but every once in a while I get a curry that is just beyond me. <laughs> and then, like, for the rest of the day, I'm just like, yep, I know exactly where that food currently is. Ooh. This guy's swift. Oh. And he controls Terracade, Earth. of course. It's oh, no, that's wall. you made the terracade. Ah, I see. Okay, gotta admit. Oh. Oh, oh no. And that mirror, you can't stand on it. Probably. He has a wide swing. And an AoE. Yeah. Oh, I like how you can see the arrows sticking out of him, though they yeah, don't sway nice. with him. Ouch. Oh, That's killed it. him with the wall. Or I died. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know if you died first before you succeeded in killing him. Probably. Okay. So, ooh. Uh, so oh. those mirror things that we got uh, let us unlock new things. So we can get the masher, a which hammer. Which is a hammer. The super slugger, which is a baseball bat. Okay. Biting dagger, radiant edge. Ooh. Boxing gloves, katana. And Terra Surge. Radiant Edge. It's a sword. Look at it. It's beautiful. Is that all? Oh, oh and, and there's the, Cold the, Snap cold as snap. an ability. Okay, well, we're absolutely grabbing Radiant Edge. Edge. Oh, I see. So you can put small amounts of points into it, and then you unlock it. Uh, well, that's nice. All right, we've picked that up. And then I'm going to get the Super Slugger, because that sounds kind of fun. All right, and then can you do the next stream or? Yeah, we could do another one. 
Just with the new weapons. Okay, so we have next stream, restart run, replay tutorial. Next stream. Oh, look, all your stuff is gone. Oh, really? All of your magazines and your books and such have been put away. Oh, so I beat it and we're on to the next stage. And look, uh, there's your guitar and everything. Yeah, so, so we definitely beat it. I got wrecked. Oh, what's the Redwood State Park? Oh, wait, maybe it wasn't so much a moving out as a trip, but then why would you have to take all your books and stuff with you? Okay, so I can get the Super Slugger 4. I want the Radiant You want edge. the Radiant Edge? Okay. I know it's not green, but it just looks so pretty. Okay. So let's put away the Super Slugger, put away the Masher. Oh, so the things that we unlocked. Yeah, so this is pulling very heavily from Dead Cells. Hmm. I actually, so I know a lot of people are like, derivative gameplay. Oh, look gameplay. at the portals. Instead of stone, now they're twigs or like bent wood. Yeah. Yeah, so it looks like they weren't, they were just going on a family trip to like be out in a cabin, kind of, sort of. They weren't like moving out or anything like that. They're just going on vacation. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's the boss again. Okay. Is he poisoned? Well, he's probably just a regular enemy now. But yes, he's poisoned. Mm -hmm. You've actually almost lost all your health. Well, it's from the previous the boss previous fight. previous fight, really? So you need to heal up every new level? I thought you would have healed in between. Yeah, I was kind of hoping I would, but this is roguelike. They don't do that. Luckily... He's, uh, my poison ability is pretty dang good. So you're causing damage to him even without having to hit him again and again. Okay, that... Hmm. Oh! That's bad. Yep, that's it. Yeah, so, uh, I can't roll past him and I got stuck on my own wall. Because it wasn't immediately obvious where my limitations were. Oh, there are all your books and... Yeah, they're back. Oh, but thanks for playing our demo. Yep. Play again to experience new rooms, events, and item loadouts. Yep. So it's a three-person... Uh, It's a three-person studio. Really? Only three? Yep. Wow. Probably an artist and two programmers or like... Artist, programmer, Maybe multiple hats. Yeah, hats. Or sound person. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah. So what do you, what to expect in the final game? Hundreds of weapons, abilities, items, and combinations. A fully realized story. Gameplay in Cassidy's waking life that affect her dreams. Oh, so maybe she will interact with her parents or other characters. And That'd be nice. Those impact the dreams or what she gets in the dreams. Yeah. More dream levels and some that turn nightmarish. Many more boss fights and new types of event rooms like challenges, stories, and more. We already saw that the puzzle one was one of their tests, if you will. Yeah. Also looks like uh, your unlocks still carry over for the demo. Okay, so next thing I should probably mention, seeing as we're here, is... Do I have any bombs? I have no bombs. Uh, seeing as we're here, uh, one, the demo will be available uh, for this game. Mm -hmm. uh, more or less the same day that the Kickstarter starts. So if any of you want to give this a go yourself, you're more than welcome to. I hope they kind of hit a middle ground on some of these enemies, because a lot of them are just like Chumsky on their own. I would have hoped that the sword wielders would be able to slash a couple times at the very least. Yeah, I, I think it would be better... The little better guys, if, I can see you taking them out in a couple goes, but... I think it would be better if the enemies had... weren't... Uh, some of the enemies were still stunlockable, but they had like more overt, like, stun periods? Maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Because the big guy got stunned for a little while, but then... Yeah, connect the free. ones up there. I don't probably. know. I think it's one of those that I'll have to play a lot more before I can even diagnose, you know, the gameplay. But overall, like, pretty positive experience. I like these little pu puzzle rooms. They're not... Oh, we... I guess we had the finger gun. Oh. Uh, see what it looks like, at least. Ooh. I'll stick with the longbow, though. At least for now. 
But, you know, I, I really appreciate how the... What are these, precisely? It it heals you probably uh, fully okay. once. Which... Ow. Oh. Longbow enemy. Or no, Javelinier. Mm-hmm. You never act... Oh, pff, whoa, look at those physics for... It bouncing off that railing. That's fun. Hopefully you can hit enemies into each other. That is one of my favorite mechanics from, um... That is one of my absolute favorite mechanics from Nuclear Throne, and I've never really seen any other roguelike even come close to that. And it makes me kind of sad. I like the, uh... Let's see, am I missing some crystal somewhere? Oh yeah, there it is. I, I like the... I love the environment. The music's pretty good. The weapon variety seems good. It would be nice if there were some, like, other combos, like XXY does something else. And I am intrigued to see if they do indeed make a story for the character. At what point of her life is she at? Is this a trip with her family out Four. into the wilderness? Nope. Four. Oh, that is so satisfying. I wonder if it's going to be a situation where they're trying to dissuade her from being lost in fantasy and playing games and such and to experience the real world, but so her fantasies and the real world are at odds with each other in this dreamscape. What do you think? I don't know. I mean, I, I'm getting kind of a Persona vibe, sort of. I love the idea of, like, somebody's dreams having this, like, weird tangible effect on their life. Well, I thought it was their life would have a tangible effect on their dreams. And it would be interesting if, was... if it was kind of vice versa. Hmm. Like, Persona kind of if did If what it you in... accomplish in this dream helps you in life? Sort of, yeah. I, I don't know. Um, I I guess I, I like the idea of a story of, like, a character that is getting sucked into this, like, weird dream realm, and there's, like, a very notable, like, this actually is something real because it's having, like, an effect on you both in the real world and vice versa. So say you have a really bad day, the dream realm is going to be, like, harder on you or something like that. Mm -hmm. And they said that uh, maybe there's going to be an element of choice with what you experience in the real world and what kind of abilities or weapons or things you'll find or encounter in this. All very intriguing. Okay, so there's Terracade again. What's Purify? Uh, let's see. Purify is this? As oh, a it's bomb. a bomb. I see. Yeah. So I'll probably go for Terracade again. It's... It was helpful. It wasn't, like, amazing, but still. So it reminds you of Black Rock Shooter. I've never actually seen that, mainly because, I don't know, any anything that goes, like, overwhelmingly, like, anime chicks is usually something that, like... Wasn't she supposed to be a dark variant of Miku? Yeah. Like, like that was the basis I for her? I think so. I don't know. I guess anything related to, uh, Vocaloids... Ooh, Crashing Wave Strikes. Ooh. And it burns? Well, get out of here, Super Slugger. Um, it's fine. Oh, you're unarmed. Yeah, so I have uh, I have punches now. But no, I'd love to see a story like that at some point where the character is like getting wrapped up into this weird dream, dream horror thing. I. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, you know how in, in the Persona games and anime and whatever, they're getting wrapped up into this, like, weird alternate TV realm and fighting stuff and whatnot? Mm -hmm. And, like, they're leveling up and whatever. And I was always kind of hoping that there would be slightly more, like, of a reaction of, like, what? Uh, ow. He actually got a hit in. I guess the fist, I have to load the hit in first. Wow, that's a big potion. I'll leave that for after. Oh, yeah. Because... Oh, but... It's a larger sloshing orb. Yeah. The unfortunate thing is I can't go, uh... I can't go, like, use it after I kill the boss. Mm -hmm. That's something I hope they actually change. Uh, that, like, once you beat the boss, you don't just immediately go warp to the next level. Or if you can pick them up and then use them as consumables rather than having to backtrack into other chambers to use them. I... I don't know. It'd be more wow. sparing with how many are given. Maybe, yeah. That'd be something. Because, yeah, I find most of the basic enemies to be largely non-threatening, and then you run into... Do you want know an interesting hmm? uh, design choice? The whole 
scarf with the light at the end. Hot, earth, or cold? Let's do earth this time. Well, that'd be probably terracade. Terracade. Okay, that was maybe inadvisable considering we have another terracade on the way, but whatever. Anyway, you were saying? Uh, just the design choice of the, uh, the scarf. And it seems like the end that's lit is heavy. I I think it's actually based on your uh the the how, sand. How far you progressed? Oh, so if you acquire more sand, will it glow? I think it gets longer. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hmm. Grants tin glass. Oh, glass is the uh glass is the meta progression reward. I am fine with that. That remind me of Journey though. If the scarf does change as time goes on. I'm fine with that. Mm -hmm. Like, I truly do not mind games being derivative as long as it's a good idea. Do you have any bombs? I got three bombs now. I think it's also something, design aesthetic-wise, where it's nice to have something trailing behind your character so that there appears to be more movement. Or secondary movement, I should say. Teledash. Teledash, that's a teleport dash. That would be good. Fire damage, plus six max projectiles. Oh, the amount I can carry around, probably. Wait, did you just recycle it rather than no, no, no. equip it? Ooh. That's cool. I love the visual effect. Like, this game's got flair. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, I'm full health. There's the hammer. Yeah, but my current punches are way What's better than that hammer. What's the one on the hammer. right? Radiant, okay. Shoot. Radiant shield. So let's grab Terracade and let's grab a spare bomb. You have double terracade? Yep. Here are my walls. So instead of having a mana system... It's just cooldown based. It's just cooldown. Okay, so that means by having double terracade, you're ensuring that you can cast it twice as often as you normally would. Yep. For the most part, I have no use for, for it, but it does actually do damage. Yeah, 15 and 24. Shadows Frozen, Freezes. I hope uh, some of those abilities do more than just like... Uh, It'd be really cool if you had a crafting component too for gathering certain resources and then equipping yourself for the next dream. Charge me, boy. Oh, you're using your time skill. Had you forgotten to use it, Fire? Wow. We just slam and jammed him into next Tuesday. The importance of a stronger weapon, apparently. Uh, let's see. Unlock. Whoops. I guess we're just doing next stream. It's fine. Ah. Uh. The glass carries over from run to run, so it doesn't really matter. And I don't really need anything new. Uh, let's see. I think the glass carries over from run to run. So now we get to fight more of those guys. But we're significantly less injured, so we don't have to worry about it. Sup, boyo? Colors are really pretty. Yeah. I think I'm going to say it's almost a... Ow. It's almost a shame this is a roguelike. If only because I would love to explore this world as like a explorable world. I, the visual design for this game is it's ashen, but colorful. All right. She does. She is lacking a face. Yeah, she doesn't have a face. Ooh. I really like the work they put into the ground cover. All the leaves. Gonna have to get some healing soon. I'm in trouble. Okay. Got plenty of bombs. Got plenty of other stuff. Oh, a puzzle. Prototype puzzle. Uh, let's see. Probably want to get that T turned around. Yeah. Oh, 
How do you connect all the ones at the top? That might actually have to be there. Can you connect all everything around the upper area? That would help. Well. Are oh, you gonna do the side? Yeah, I think this is actually like weirdly roundabout. Oh no, that didn't work. Oh, but you need that one over there. And there's that at the lower left, too. So now I just have to figure out how to... That has to be turned around. But where? And how it... The only piece that it can feasibly connect to is the center one. Oh, hey, can you turn that around? What? The one on the left. This? Down, da, 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 this? down, down, down. This? That one. Turn it. Oh, no. That wouldn't do anything, but is there a way for us to connect that piece with the middle? Well, hmm. Yeah, because that, that has to work with the middle one. Wander? Oh, hold on. Mm hmm Yeah, that's how you get that end. Yeah, so we just have to connect it here. Somehow. There we go. And then that. There we go. Woohoo! Finger gun. Oh. Finger gun four. Four. Get out of here, longbow. Let's see. So we can get... Spend 11 glass, get some sand... I see. So this is an exchange. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Tile. I like how they have different symbols for each tile. Oh, that guy has a spear. Or a javelin and a shield. Look at that. I really like the design of the enemies, too. These weird wraith-like creatures. Fear my walls! You shall not touch me! You may try, but, but instead you get Havel the Wall. I mean, heal to the wall. I mean, <laughs> the wall. <laughs> ah! Oh, that was a knockdown stun. Oh. So I can trap them inside the wall. And they don't like it. Okay, yeah, note to self. Use and abuse abilities where more often. The abilities, by the way, are really satisfying. I, do, I was going to say this earlier, but I really hope some of the... Uh, the uh if I if we look at this, it mm -hmm. says shatters frozen ten percent chance. Freezes ten percent chance for three seconds, twenty percent max lucid. I actually really hope some of those like mm -hmm. uh randomly generated abilities or something would actually uh would actually change how the the move works. So you know Oh, you don't have any keys. I'm out of keys. Uh so instead of creating one wall, it creates a circle of walls around you. Or it fires a wall forward or something like that. Or if you could, like, combine two abilities together or something like that. Because I love the idea of... Oh, that's really clever. The ammo is shown at the top of yep. the turrets. Ow. And there's a key. get more HP. And the red rivers are damaging, correct? No, I just... They're not passable. Ah. Oh, never See, mind. They are damaging. What did I tell you? You're correct. Everything is ouch. Uh, but yeah, they were they were talking about They were, they were talking about for the Oh, it just got killed by the fire fire damage. Do I still have bombs? I still have plenty of bombs. That's good. Uh, they're talking about how there will be like hundreds of weapons and abilities and stuff. Oh wow! And I like the idea of that, but I think it would. I think to some small degree. I'd rather it, have them focus on the story part. Eh. No, no they, that's for you. They wanted, this oh, is roguelike shell. Sorry, it's just they said that they were going to implement a story that was going to influence the the game, like how you interact within and without of the dream realm. So, I'm excited about that part. 
that's interesting, but as a roguelike fan, story is completely secondary. I find roguelikes with too much story, I end up actually playing less, as opposed to more. But for me, that would yep, be go down. a goal to reach the end. Yeah, but again, roguelike. Mm -hmm. Like, this straight up is not a genre generally aimed at you. I like the well, idea of the story stuff, mm -hmm. uh, but it is by f by and far... Well, I would... You always say that you want to play a game where being forced back in time and progressing, and as you... It, essentially, in, in roguelike style, what you acquire knowledge for, whether it be the location of items or weapons or who you interact with and whatever gets you further and further and helps you overcome harder I mean, and harder there's challenges a lot of other games until you that. finally reach a terminus. I just see... It, could st it can still play like a roguelike. Yeah, but I, I still see this being as more of like a Binding of Isaac style thing where there is a story. I'll have to see where they go, but like this genre generally works best with less story more than more. But they seem to have a an intriguing way to They have something, and I'm curious to see where they take it. Mm-hmm. But we'll see. Okay. I think that'll be it for the uh the first for episode. The demo. I might play a little bit more of this myself, because I'm actually enjoying it, and clearly I haven't reached the end. I keep getting wrecked on that second level, because they give us a whole bunch of uh healing potions in that first level. Then nothing on the second one, which is hard to work with. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that said, uh, I mean, basic overview. Really pretty, great music. The combat definitely picks up for the second level. I would like to see the two even out a little bit more, so it's a flatter difficulty curve. Can or you start like, the next stream just so that we aren't looking at a menu? I guess so, yeah, we can, we can do that. <laughs> Yeah, all of her stuff is in boxes, which means mm -hmm. that they're not just going to the um, no, they, the cabin. There's more than that. Maybe the cabin is just a memory of yeah, happier that's times a good point. or oh, something hey. else. Do I get the rewards? Do I get optic optics seer? seer? We might as well mess around with it. Oh, optic seer is a uh, it's, it's a ranged, a ranged right? move, not a melee. That makes sense. But yeah, I love the fact that you can see the. Uh, I love the fact that you can see the ammo on these guys. That's fun. Oh, probably so completely expensive. Optic sear. It's it's, it's laser. eye lasers. Yeah, it's uh, a fire laser. Yeah. It's very expensive on your am ammunition, but if you want to point your your if you want to just slam and jam something into next Tuesday. Okay, now I understand those enemies. Cool. But, yeah, so ultimately this game is kind of maybe... I'm not going to say too, too derivative. It has a lot of similar notes from things. Com combat's pretty close to Hand of Fate, but without the uh, the active uh, fighting. Health for a bomb. Yeah. Oof. Oh, yeah. Still worth it. Did you pick up the bomb? Yeah, I think it just went into my inventory automatically. Uh, but yeah, combat's kind of hand of fatey. Visual design is all its own, and I really, really like like it. It is a nice aesthetic. Uh, the weapon and ability system seems to be pulled pretty, uh, pretty closely out of Dead Cells. And I don't necessarily mind that, but I feel like there's a lot more room for interesting things. Like, yeah, uh, either different abilities comboing into something unique. Or uh, having slight variations on each ability to make make that interesting as well. Like, for example, uh, multiple walls, uh, chasing walls, so on and so forth. Uh, and I would I would almost prefer less abilities if you could like change them around in interesting ways. I think that's more of me. Spend hundred lucid. I don't have enough lucid. I'll go get more. Um, let's see. And the meta progression system is nice. That it's all just unlocks. Because, I will admit, I grow tired of overly heavily meta progression systems and roguelikes. It varies. I like the really strong meta progression systems where it's just like... Uh, where it's just like every run you get like a little bit stronger, but then after a certain point it's just like... I'm not sure if I'm playing a roguelike or if it's just meant to be like New Game Plus through until you win? Those combos are satisfying. Mm -hmm. 
but they chose some pretty good roguelikes to cook together, and I'm liking it. All right, right. I, I really might as did well like mention. how they handled the demo. Yeah. With, well, no, not the demo. Sorry, the tutorial as a yeah as like the a game, game playing that a game. That was stylish. Mm hmm. It serves as a basis for why the enemies in her dreams take on the forms that they do, and why it's playing out like a roguelike. She's loves this game so much that it's pretty much become the setting. Yeah. Potions, arrows, we are good. But yeah, to reiterate what I said earlier, this game is going to be going on Kickstarter, but if you want to get your hands on it early, there's going to be a public de demo, demo, uh, available to everyone on Steam. Just go to, go to Dreamscape, sorry. For whatever Dreamscape reason, I can't remember the name of this game at all. I mean, it's it's super on the nose, and I think that's why I can't remember it. Because it, it is just Dreamscape. That's both easy to remember and I don't know. I thought I hmm? thought there was an ER at the end. Is it Dreamscaper? Oh, maybe it is. Shoot, that's a problem. <laughs> Hold on. Can I space laser both of them? The answer is yes. That's satisfying. And yeah, I, I can't wait to see what they've got. Because yeah, every weapon so far feels pretty distinct. Even if they're... They have... Similar bits. Ooh. Wait, your fire lasers are also causing poison now? Yep. It's a randomly generated ability. Mm -hmm. uh, so, every, every item that is, like, green has bonus effects attached to it. Uh, so sometimes it'll do fire. Sometimes it'll do a uh, a slow. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, I, I'm just unarmed. Unarmed too. Yep. So now when I hit enemies, I have a 10% chance to slow them by 10% or something like that. And it also increases my attack speed by 5%. I'm curious what some of the end game equipment would do. Some of it could be amazing. Most of it's probably going to be like, eh, like an extra 20% here and there. But that's fine. Anyway, so I guess with this, I, I'm looking forward to playing more of this, and I probably might load it up one or two more times before we're done. Uh, let's see. Do we have any other runaway abilities? I'm just doing another run because I can't weave. stop weave. Just greater speed. Oh, I see. It's uh, a much faster dodge. Because normally the dodge has a bit of a cooldown and stuff. Weave is, you know, boxing weave. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna go punch punch the bosses in his bits again. I guess we don't have any abilities. Nor does it matter, but we might as well quote unquote finish this run. I guess I could just let him slug me. Oh. Ow. Oh, I'm stuck. This You're is a stunned? problem. Stunned? What is going on? Were no, you... I'm not stunned. Uh That is actually something that does need to be fixed in this game. It's super easy to get stuck on a wall and you can't escape. Uh, because there's no, um, there's no clearly defined, like, sometimes there's fences, but other times you'll just be at the edge of the environment and you don't know until you're right there, and then you're pinned and you either have to, like, slug your way out really quick or you probably die. Mm -hmm. Which is a bit unfortunate. It's okay, but I, I feel like, uh, you should be able to dodge roll through enemies to get out of stuff like that because you can't currently and that's bad. At least in certain spots, but that's fine. Anyway, I guess with this, uh, thanks for watching, and I don't know. Yeah, check out the Kickstarter on August 6th. Like I said, I'll probably do another video along the way too. But for now, see you guys next time.